All right, Ubuntu 10.04, uh, Lucid Links. Um, I didn't use the alpha version or the beta or the RC, any of that. Using the final version for a day now. And uh, coming into this, <laughs> I I was I thought it was gonna be a big piece of crap actually, you know. But after using it for a day, this thing is fast, man. I mean, I don't brag about the the boot process, you know, ever, but um, it's noticeably faster. And I dig it, all right. As far as the live installer, that thing was fast too. But the thing I didn't like about that was there was this part uh, when you hit like 79% or something, and uh, you had to download language packs or something like that. And that was stupid on D Day. The server's all messed up and all that. And if you're a new user, you probably would not click on skip, you know. So I thought that was a stupid part of the, of the install process. But uh, other than that, um, as far as the themes, I do like the theme. Some people hate it. I happen to like it. It does look like a Mac, okay? There's no secret there. The thing I don't like about it is this. They don't take a page out of uh, Linux Mint because uh, they have the splash screen. Uh, it looks like um, the login screen and then the desktop. All looks the same, right? The thing is they always miss the grub screen, you know? It, the grub screen still looks like a piece of shit. You know, it's just black and white, which is ridiculous if you want to, you know, make it consistent. So I wish they did that but they don't. As far as uh, using the desktop, it is faster and the bugs that annoys me like in the past, most of it uh, has been fixed. Like um, the auto high and all that. And that's thanks to uh, the Ubuntu paper cut uh, project. And they did remove some of the applications which uh, I didn't really mind. I didn't really care about GIMP. Okay, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> GIMP and uh, what was the other one? The the scanner program, Xing, the, the multiple windows. That's the reason why they get rid of it because it was stupid. Okay, thank you. I actually thank them <clears throat> for that. But if you happen to like it, just install it again. Not a big deal. And what else they have here? You know, I was actually surprised by this one. Uh, G Weber. They actually included this. I guess it was because they had the the me menu here uh, for the social network and all that. Um, but this thing you can uh, connect to your Twitter and uh, I think Facebook too and some other one like um, I think Flickr I'm not sure anyways uh, what else is here this is uh, empathy and you know this empathy I, I'm not sure about this version but the last version I, I had to get rid of it because uh, they didn't have file transfer and you know sometimes um, you know your buddies send you like a picture or something which they didn't have, so that, I was surprised by that. So I didn't, I didn't know. But this one, look at—they have a new theme and all that. It looks nice. I dig it. Uh, so that's that. And I think they have Facebook in here and all that. But um, uh, or is it was it MySpace or some shit like that? Also, didn't really work. I tried it, didn't work. Anyways, let's get on to the next thing. Okay, over here is the three apps that they have by default that I think they should get rid of because it's crap. I, 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 it's crap, all right? First one is this, Basario. I can't prove it, but I know from experience that it sucks, okay? Um, I have two computers, so two different burners and all that. I would say when I'm burning it, 30% uh, of the time it works. The rest um, doesn't work, it's a piece of shit. So I would actually recommend you use, uh, it's not a free program, but uh, it's Nero Linux. That thing actually works, okay? But Sario, I don't know what they should do. I, I think they should get rid of it or fix it permanently, but I, I don't know if they can fix it. So I would say get rid of it, okay? Because it sucks. And Spot, <clears throat> uh, it's a photo manager, but it's too slow. And the, the competitors that they has is better, okay? In terms of speed, uh, maybe they don't have all the features, but the speed is what it, what people want. You know, this thing is too slow, in, in my opinion. And this janitor crap, I don't know why it's still here. This thing is useless. It doesn't really do the job that it's supposed to do. Is to get rid of uh, you know old obsolete packages, which it doesn't do. And I don't really recommend it. I don't know why they still have it. They haven't actually improved it or anything like that. So I thought this was a piece of crap and they still have it in here. Amazing that they still have that. Alright, let's go on to the next one here. Um, 
The Ubuntu Software Center. Now you know how I feel about it before. That was the first version of it. This is um I actually like this one actually. You know, I do things good for newbies this one. Because they fixed the most of the navigation wise. Uh before you had to do a lot of clicking just to get a program installed and that was stupid. Now this one is still not better than uh, the add and remove, okay? But it's a little bit better. Uh, that's what I'll say. But now you can actually just search for it like you, you normally would, you know, like if you search for uh I guess G Note you have to install it in the, in, over here and you just click install and that's it you don't have to go into the thing and then you click install that that was actually stupid I don't know why they had that before that was like common sense to me but I guess now they fixed it you know so I actually um, would say it's good for newbies um, you know first time getting in not a bad idea uh, so that's pretty much it that I gotta say I actually uh, am uh, surprised at the speed and uh, I would recommend it, but um, let me see here. I would recommend you install it, but not now. Maybe wait like a week or two later because there are still bugs. So if you're a new person and you want to install this, I'll probably say like wait two weeks and then install it. Uh, but if you're like uh, used to Ubuntu already, uh, maybe like intermediate or medium level, or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and install it. You know, not a big deal. Uh, as far as dual booters, uh, I heard there was a bug on it. So maybe if you still have like uh, Windows or maybe another Linux OS, maybe hold off on that until it's confirmed that it's fixed. I'm not sure. So that's it. I actually dig it. And yeah, I'm going to enjoy it now. That's it.